With the halted avalanche still towering over the village, first rescue parties find the stricken valves, silent and still. Here the blow struck hardest when sudden avalanches, some 40 feet high, brought disaster to villages of five lands bordering on the Alps. Down there is a lorry, perhaps the driver too. This mother with her children crouched behind her stove and death passed them by. And here, deep in the snow where she lay buried 16 hours, another woman was saved. At St. Moritz, the snow lies six feet deep and blocked roads and railways hold up scores of British holidaymakers. The little town of Andermatt, 4,000 feet above the St. Gotthard Tunnel, was struck by four avalanches. To find the roofs of buried homes, men probe with long, slender rods. Within, there may yet be some who live. More than 40 are dead or missing. Of three families, there is only one survivor. In the widespread tragedy, more than 300 dead have already been counted. Some homes they free with ice saws, cutting away the hard-pressed snow to reach top floor windows, striving to save life before the next blow falls. Swiftly and suddenly, the ice rivers struck, and in their wake, the little villages stand stark and silent wrecks in a sea of peaceful white.